Hello, this is uh, Cloud the Tank again. Um, this is doing a video update on the Seabird Carnival. I just took the um, carriage off the unit here um, a little while, cut like last week, I believe. During my vacation, I've been um, spray painting and polishing a lot of these um, parts right now. Uh, right now, I got one of them back in the jukebox, but I got to find some better screws to bolt it down. Not um. I took this to my shop over in South on uh, South Street at Classic Turning. Um, took it in and get it sandblasted. Tried to get what rust I could out of this in between these slots here. Then, uh, as soon as I got what rust I can get out of it, I decided to try to paint this thing a little bit. Put a real thin layer of coat on it, so it sprayed very very lightly on here, so it doesn't get much of a coating on here, but. At least it looks pretty pretty for what it is right now. But right around the inside of these here, there was nothing but a little rust here and there. Probably nothing too serious, but I don't want any rust in this thing where they'll scratch the records when they go in there. I don't know. Yeah, so I sandblasted this, then I put a thin layer of paint on it. And I gotta get a... Wait for the parts manager to show up, because I ordered one from Canada on Thursday I believe it is and the guy couldn't ship it out until about um, Tuesday because in Canada they got Thanksgiving on Monday of this last month this last week so he couldn't ship it out till Tuesday so hopefully it should be in by either tomorrow or Tuesday so I should be able to see it so that way I can figure this thing out I still got these things here, but um, as you can see, it kind of falls apart right about in here, so. But at least I got an idea of where all the letters are going to be. Um, I took an air gun to this thing to get rid of most of the stuff on here. Because there was like a lot of crud. And this piece here fell off, I got to put this back on there. Selecto Manic 100 Mechanism. Type 145ST14, code S422, and it's uh, 120 volts, uh, 60 hertz, and looks like 35 watts. Seabird Co the Seabird Corporation, Chicago, Illinois, USA, and for a serial number, it doesn't got anything in there, but this is placed right about right here on the unit. So I gotta find a way to put this thing back on there so I don't want to lose it. But, um, as you can see, she's still pretty nasty looking. I'm not too sure what to do with these guys here, but I'll probably just leave them where they're at for now. Just trying to get rid of some of this rust. And try to get rid of some of this oxidation, but I gotta get some scratch pads over here so I can polish it. See, there's all that here. There's um, more of the unit here. I'll show the outer side of it as soon as I flip it. Here's the other side of the video, uh, the motor. Get a pretty good detail of what everything is here. There's the uh, 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 Boney Electric Company, I believe. I'm not sure exactly how you say it, but you kind of see the, all the information that's right there. Hopefully, I'll get it in good quality. There's um, all the wires for it. There's this piece there. You can see this is kind of like working in a jungle here. So I guess someone must have spliced that part of it. So I got a lot of clean to do on this thing. But um, but I know the um, everything seems to be moving smoothly on this. Um, I haven't got anything to test and power it up at all, so I'm just mostly been doing this by hand. And because on, on these machines here, I can. 
And I can easily turn this in one direction, but of course I'm limited on the space here though. And I know all the gear mechanisms work, so I could engage this piece here, and that will cause the mechanism to um, go into its cycle. See, it works like it's supposed to. Now I'm gonna get a view on this side of it. I'm gonna drop this switch again. See, there goes the cam. And it goes back into scan mode. So I can't really spin it the other way. I can only spin it in one direction. So because they have to do it the other way by hand. It's by uh, let's take this motor here. I just move it this way. This. You can see the unit starting to move backwards. Still gotta work with this here. I think this, uh, oh, I gotta definitely work with this thing a little bit, so. You can see this thing, this is a piece here is supposed to be in here, so I gotta put it with that thing a little bit. But, um, I'll show you the rest of this jukebox real quick. Here's the um, new board that's going to go in there. I um, originally bought this at Menards and I was going to use this to uh, put together the Columbia, but of course we um, cut, like my dad cut the board a little bit underside, so I got to find a way how to make that bigger in the inside so that way the record player will get back together. And, and I haven't really got much time to play with that thing and I just. I don't know, sometimes I just don't feel like messing with it at all, but, um, show the bot. <sighs> show what it looks like down here. There's this unit. Well, a piece of it anyway. I got this totally repainted. Had to really, um, hit it with a, um, a wire wheel. I got most of the loose dust off. And, um, just painted this thing with regular outside paint but um but it looks pretty good but I gotta work on it back there because those bolts keep popping out and this thing ain't very stable since it's attached to that plastic and plastic rips so but um I'll show you some more stuff that I did so, this is some other stuff I did here so I have to put my light somewhere, so but um here's on uh, um one of the sliding pieces for the mechanism to slide on. This is just got first painted underneath and then I put this uh, other stuff on but it doesn't make it look all that gray but I ain't gonna be too perfect with this thing just yet so Here's the uh, other side. That's gotta go. It's gonna fit on the bottom of that unit that these things slide on. Well, it's there kind of has the same deal on some of the newer jukeboxes, like the 3700 over here. There's the um, counter box, and I got some mess stuff on this thing here. I could just barely read it all. I just mostly got the outside of this box. I ain't too worried about the inside. 
because since I'm not going to be seeing the inside of this is anyway, but I did try to get some loose rust out of there, but I ain't going to bother painting the inside. There's no point to it, so. And then I got this piece, which I'm thinking this is for the um, cash, I believe, but I'm not too sure. I got to see where it goes exactly. I think it's for the um, cash piece. And um, here's this part. I painted the inside of this one here. Even though I didn't need to, but I did it anyway. Just to make it look pretty anyway. Didn't do nothing to the outside. Just left it alone. So, as I got all these words on here. Now, if you, of course, if you've seen on American models, they um, mainly only got writing either here or on this plate here. But for this particular model for it being a foreign jukebox it's got multiple languages on it and it's just written all over the place on here here's some of the stuff I um, rewrote back on there that was originally on here and I could just barely read them but I managed to get back on I didn't bother translating the rest of this gibberish down below I managed to get this back on. Not the prettiest, but it'll do. So at least somebody would know. Here's the um, counter unit. You can see it's in pretty rough shape. But I think it, she should be alright anyway. Hopefully the water didn't affect it too much. That, that's the... Um, update for this jukebox so um, hopefully I'll be able to get more of it later so I guess I'll catch you later